So before that trailer came out that I uploaded earlier talking about in an analysis like video there was some news that I was going to do and then the trailer came out so I did the trailer I covered the trailer and got that out of the way first but now let's get back to this bit of news. I wouldn't say it's particularly major but there's a little bit to talk about here so why not. My source is Access the Animus for this one that seems to be way too common. So I'll leave a link to them in the description, go show them some love. But without further ado, let's get into this stuff. Now, first of all, the news is coming from the newest issue of the Edge magazine, which I've never heard of. Most of us have probably never heard of it. I might be wrong, but who cares? That's where it's coming from, according to Access the Animus. So now that's out of the way, let's gloss over the bits of news and then talk about them. I'll give my thoughts and stuff like that, so let's go. The simulation of ancient Egypt is still set within Abstergo Industries, the Animus. So does that mean it's going to be an Abstergo Animus or something? It just said the Abstergo Industries Animus. So does this mean that we'll be in an Animus in Abstergo and that'll be where the Monday is? Or do you reckon it will just be a backdoor sort of server thing that we saw with the Animus in Assassin's Creed 2? Does this mean anything? I don't know, that's why I'm asking. Do you think that because they said Abstergo's Animus, is it going to be an Abstergo Animus that's properly, in, you know, in, in Abstergo? Or will it just be an Animus that's basically based off that that we saw in Assassin's Creed 2 through to Revelations and 3? Will it really be like that or will we be back in Abstergo? I probably imagine that we might be in Abstergo or we might actually be in what I said before that we could be with the assassins and they could be doing whatever they're doing or he could be with the instruments of the first will which would be interesting again but the wording here just raised that question about the modern day who will we actually be with i know that the protagonist will be whoever they're with like sidewise but who will we be with in the modern day will we be out stergo or will we be with the assassins what's going on Moving on, side quest cutscenes will show Bayek be willing to interact with the local kids as Uncle Bayek, but at the same time, we'll also be able to show him brutally rip apart a wrongdoer. So we have the nice friendly side to the character, and then we have the utterly petrifying dark and sinister side to the character. So it means the character is going to have more than one base emotion, which is something that certain characters in the franchise have lacked in the past which makes Bayek as a character seem a little bit more promising to know. Among Bayek's label manipulation tools, the player will find firebombs, so things that you throw and they blow stuff up. I mean, we have seen a lot of fire in the trailers. Maybe Bayek's like a little pyromaniac or something, we don't know. Obviously, that'll be useful for burning people to death, burning structures, maybe, if that's possible in the game, and also creating distractions. That's how I see them being possibly used. The skill to fast forward time is apparently going to be called the Dawn and Dusk ability. So is this an ability you have to unlock? And so you can't just sit there and wait. That's quite interesting. So I'd imagine it'll be a part of the skill tree if they're using the word skill, which means that we'll have to unlock it probably quite early in the game. But even still, we have to unlock it. Now we know that. Or at least we know that we probably won't start the game with that ability. Now I don't get that. To me it looked like it was going to be there just for convenience as opposed to being a skill, but whatever. Now of course I do want to talk about the last one which is quite interesting here. As already mentioned in the past, the Time Anomalies missions in Unity and Syndicate will not appear in Origins. However, there is a similar element though. Ismail didn't want to spoil it, but he said, We have fun with the fact that the game is not actually set in Egypt, but we're using an Animus. So there will be a Rift-like feature in the game, so different settings and things etc, but they're not anomalies, like they're part of the game, like in the sense that they're not set up in a way to make it look like an error or something. So what this sounds like to me is another approach to the Rift-like thing, except it's not a Rift, it's just presented in a way that makes it canonically intended. Now that's what I grasped from that last point, but please do let me know what you think about that one down in the comment section. Before we end the video though, I want to mention something from the trailer. So in the scene in the arena in the trailer, we see this guy who looks really cool. Well, there is a render of him and he is called simply the Duelist. And as you can see here, he has two weapons, he's got purple clothing and a cool mask. This guy gives me the vibe of reoccurring antagonists where the antagonist will show up at different points throughout the course of the game and just cause you bother. 
if any character is going to do it, I'd probably bet that it was him. So I reckon this arena scene might not be the only place where we'll see this guy in the game, and apparently he was big enough to get his own render, so he must be quite big to the story in some way. So I'm thinking the Duccio of Assassin's Creed Origins, but cooler, less stupid, and less annoying. And all round a little bit deadlier, but at least they share the fact that they both wear purple in common. But of course, that is just speculation on my part, and now that last point is out of the way, there is nothing else to talk about. At least not in this video. So, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share, comment, let me know what you think about all these little details and stuff, and I will see you all in the next one with another video at some point.